Hi, and welcome to Jack's Foundations, where I'll guide you through Jack's from Google and show you how you can use it to power your research. In the previous episodes, we took a look first at what Jax is, and then at who is using it, exploring some examples of amazing research that was powered by the performance of Jax. And this probably left you with a question, well, how do I use it? The easiest way is to start evaluating Jax using Google Colab. And this gives you a cloud-based environment with all of Jax dependencies pre-installed, as well as a GPU or TPU accelerator on the back end that lets you get started at no cost. I've put a link to the Jax Quick Start Colab in the links below. Using the Colab, you can get a feel for how Jax optimizes some mathematical operations, speeding them up greatly with tricks like using device memory directly with device put, which in this example, reduced multiplying a 3000 by 3000 matrix with another one from 48.3 milliseconds to just 14.5 milliseconds using just a single line of code to execute on the GPU. Or for example, using just-in-time compilation, you can see with this salary function acting on 1 million values was reduced from 900 milliseconds uncompiled to 130 milliseconds compiled, again with just a single line of code. In the Colab, you'll also see code that demonstrates derivatives of functions with jax.grad, an auto vectorization with jax.vmap. And this gives you a taste of what jax can do. But of course, you might want to install it on your own workstation and not use the functionality of Colab. And if you want to do that, it's also quite straightforward. And you can take a look at the project README on GitHub. This is your friend. While Jax is written in pure Python and can be installed with pip install, please note that it does depend on XLA, which has to be installed as the Jaxlib package. And this package is available on Linux and Mac OS. But if you're using Windows, you'll have to use the Windows subsystem for Linux or build it directly from source. Other than that, installing for CPU is pretty straightforward. For GPU and CUDA and CUDNN, you'll have instructions on the correct NVIDIA drivers to use for the current version. And of course, there are pre-built wheels for the Google Cloud TPU, so you can install it in that environment too. And once you've done that and you're up and running, you can try the same code from the Colab, or you can browse on over to jax.readthedocs.io and work through some more examples. You're now ready to push the power of mathematical modeling on accelerators with greatly improved performance. And I can't wait to see what you build. So if you have any questions or feedback, please leave them in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe for more great content from the Google Research Channel. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.